Hello and welcome. I am Zinder and this is episode 28 of my Minecraft Let's Play. And uh, I've done some stuff in the uh, process of waiting, one of which is I set up the little uh, workbench here. Well, workbench, the, the brewing stand, got this chest. And uh, I even prepared a little something so I could show you guys. You know, because I said I, I didn't originally intend to aim the series at new players, however, I had then since changed my mind. Now, I had already made some of these. This is uh, just water bottles. I filled them in using this. Just a little pool of water back there. And, uh, as you can see, I've already made some. But I'm going to show you how I made them. These ones are actually uh, not just a regular potion of swiftness. It looks like it, but they're actually the extended version. But after the, uh, the nether wart, you get the awkward potion. And I add sugar. That, that, that's a little bit obvious, I would assume, to make swiftness. You add sugar. Um, while that's going, I'm going to head out here and show you guys something. I know it's not going to take long for that. But uh, this is... Well, I got a little bit bored and started building. And I went up there because it's... Started building. Built a dark room trap way up in the sky. You're probably wondering why there's a lever here. This is the loot chute, as I'm calling it. Um... But there's this little spot up here, and you see this is like this. Let me just, uh, well, more mobs are spawning. Do this. Yeah, I'm sure you heard that. There's now a hole there. And what's down there? Water. There's a drowning trap down there. But when I had leave this here, oh, here's our first victim. You see, he lands, but he survives. Two hits by punching him and experience. Oh. And uh, this button. This button is here to drop the items down. So I don't have to open and close it, it's just an immediate access. Um, then that comes down here. Because it goes down through the drowning trap and comes out like any other item would. Um, I keep on saying um. One of the things to note about this is part of the reason why the loot shoots down here, and this is up here and whatnot, is for one, if I'm standing here. Mobs will not be spawning in the dark room. If I'm standing down here, they will. So basically, I let them spawn if I'm going to experience grind. And then I run up, I kill them, I press the button, I come down here, and I wait again. I just sit here, because first of all, it takes a little bit of time for the items to come out. And uh, plus, down there, I know for a fact they'll spawn, but it's close enough to them once they fall that I'll get. Uh, they won't despawn on me. Um, spiders do die from the fall, but I'm not too concerned about that, because I did have that spider spawner down there in that cave. Uh, oh. I'm going to go over here, Should put another thing in here. These are now potions of swiftness, but you'll notice they're three minutes. The other ones I had were eight. Add redstone, and then that'll extend the duration of the potions. Um, I could have also used gunpowder, which will make them splash potions. And then there's a uh, glowstone, which increases the intensity of the potions. But um, with swiftness, I wasn't too concerned because when you increase the intensity and make them swiftness too, it actually reduces their duration down to a minute and a half. Melons, I'm low on melons. But uh, yeah, I started a bit of a branch mine. It goes down. Each one of these go until they hit that little. Ooh go until they hit that little uh, area down there. The the one I was at before. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is really good. I actually used uh, a good bit of my slime balls making the sticky pistons for the EXP slash mob grinder drone or trap thing. But these all go in this direction and most of them link up with the same spot. Um... As you can tell, I haven't completed this side. I got to there. My intent is to continue this with gunpowder. Well, not gunpowder. Uh, continue expanding it with TNT. Which, my little darkroom trap, which I'm going to extend up higher and whatnot. And I'll go up there and I'll show you that once I get to that point. But, I'm not quite there yet. Still got to... Okay, now think about it. I don't really have a whole lot to do. Um, so I'll get to that here soon. But, we're going to go back over here. I'm going to show you guys, uh, 
Got that. It's not a whole lot more than I had. Um, I moved the redstone up here because I now have that much. Which I will throw these slime balls in here. Oh, I made a pick. Enchanted it with an 18 enchant and I got Silk Touch. Can't really think of too many uses for that. I don't think it works on cobwebs, but I'm willing to try. But look how many diamonds I have now. Um, basically my plan is I'm probably going to save up, try and get a 50, and then I will enchant it and show you guys. Or maybe I'll just save it and enchant it on camera, and then you guys can see. Whoa. The, uh, the water shader really screws with the look of the torches there, doesn't it? Actually looks really cool. Um, uh, it's night time, but whatever. I'll go up top, and I actually thought about setting up a lighting thing so I could show you guys easier. I'm going up the wrong side of this. I purposely built this next to this hill, just so it would be easier to get up onto it. And I mean, I could always add something up here. I thought about making mob-specific storage rooms up on top. Because I'm going to fill up my mob boxes pretty quick if I keep using the darkroom trap. But I can extend it higher and I probably will. Main reason I did this is because I had all that... Sorry. All that uh, cobblestone. Which I still have way too much more. But uh, screw off. I want to show these people something. Just you two spiders? Cool. No, come up here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll drop torches. I'm not sure how I'm going to get across here. Oh, okay. Put torches in here so you can get a nice view of what's going on. Basically, when I built this, I'd started by building the the chute, which that goes just straight down. Fairly plain and simple on that one. Um, each one of these are eight long. This is 2x2 two two, so spiders can fit down. The roof's only too high because endermen require a 3 high spot to spawn. I've purposely made it so they won't spawn because they like to take chunks out of my walls. Because they're endermen and that's what they do. Each one of these platforms are 8x8. Uh, eight eight. And I had built the initial area out on each side and built the floor first. Which I basically just counted out from the, uh, the center. So it would all line up. And I'm probably going to add a few more levels on top of this. Because, uh... Well... Unless you have, like, a double or possibly triple spawner to work with for an experience thing, this will actually be more effective, in my opinion. Um... The only major thing I'm worried about is the fact that I won't be able to send any of the upper levels directly down the center. I'll have to filter them into here. But that's actually not going to be a big deal because these middle platforms don't have to be any specific size. I just have them like this for ease of water. Um, essentially what I'm going to have to do is this line here is going to be on both sides. They'll hit the water which will cushion their fall and then it'll push them straight down in the center and I think it will work fine. Um, I'm not going to build that on camera because the amount of time it took to build this was pretty excessive. And I have this ladder here, so it's easier to get up here. Lit up with torches at the moment. This is marked specifically with dirt, so I know exactly where the middle was. But now that I said that about what I'm going to do, that, that's kind of pointless. Because as I said what I was going to do... I literally had just thought at that moment how if I drop them down the middle, like I did the other ones, they're going to die when they hit the uh, the platform. Which is actually the issue. I originally had it down where this, where the uh, the drowning trap is. Um, hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get in here. Uh... I lit up the area around here to try and make it so mobs were more likely to spawn in there at night. But, uh, let's... Shit. I broke some redstone. Okay. Um, put that there. Just gotta fix this. There we go. 
Now, it's just your standard drowning trap. It, the bottom down here is pretty much identical to what I did to the spider area, only this time I made sure to build it out of glass. The, the loot ends up in there, plain and simple. Now, for this redstone, I realize I've already dug in the wall here, but it's going to be hard to show you both sides from here, so... Whoops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up into where I basically accessed it to begin with. I originally had this set so when it was down, they were out, but I wanted to set up this button, and I realized that in order to do that, I'd have to change the way it all set up. Um, hmm. I hear you, Mr. Spider. This is probably not the safest way to go at this. Oh. There we go. This is pretty simple. I mean, the pistons are there, those goes there, and like that. But I have torches on both sides now to invert the signal from the uh, lever. Because that way, when I press the button, that comes down here, deactivates that torch. Actually, now that I think about it, how does this... Oh, I was going to say, why does this actually function? Because it's not directly running into the block anymore. It's actually just activating that, but I think it would be linked onto that like it should be. Oh well. Um, that, that works. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Now, I'll go on this side. And it's pretty much the same thing. Um, the redstone... Pull this out. This is the redstone. It goes in here, goes up, does the same thing. The only difference is, is it doesn't have the, where the button is, because when you press the button, that link back around feeds through over to here, triggering this. There we go. Put that back in. Oops. Yeah, I could have that there, but I don't. Doesn't? Wow. Just, wow. Zombies. They're not perfect, but it works, so I didn't want to mess with it. Um, but yeah, basically this lever is just so that way they will fall down in and drown. And it's not all completely stone brick, because I actually built this after I was done with it. So, that's that with that. Um, don't want to forget my zombie meat. I heard a spider, and I think he's stalking me. Hey, you. Free experience. I was going to eat the zombie meat, but I think I might just make an incinerator and throw it all in it. Well, I would do that, but you can feed wolves with it. And I'm thinking that maybe you can feed ocelots with it when they come out, so I don't want to get rid of it. And I've actually considered changing to 1.2 for the, the and just keeping up to date with the snapshots. But I was worried about... Uh, well, primarily I was worried about it managing to corrupt my world. And yeah, I'm just in here killing trees while I'm talking. Um, and the world corruption, that's... I don't want to really risk losing the world. It wouldn't really be any major loss to me. Because I could easily just branch mine. I made a lot more progress on stuff I was going to do whenever I changed my ideas on how I was going to obtain materials and this and that so that's like that and if I maintain that I mean if I go to 1.2 I may have to use armor I'm gonna try to avoid using I hear an enderman I really wanna see if I ever give up on a map I definitely want to do the end on the map before I do so I'm gonna where'd he go where is he what's going on here Where are you, Enderman? What the hell? I'll climb up my redstone. I know I haven't completed this, and I know I still need to. Where is this Enderman? That is very strange. I'm sure he's probably gone now. He probably teleported because of the sun. I'm going to need to link that up somehow, because it's going to be extremely dangerous to go from here to there, despite the amount of light that I've placed around. But, 
I really kind of want to just level that entire area. Where is this Enderman? Is he gone now? I haven't really been farming or harvesting the wheat farm because I haven't really found a need to. Mostly because of the fact that uh, melons are pretty ridiculous. Like, even with just four melons, by the time I need to get more melons, they're already grown. Like, if you have a farm of, like, eight melons, it's just insanity. Like, you'll never run out of melons. Ever. And I saw this really nifty idea on, uh, on a different Let's Play on how to set up a pretty crazy automatic melon farm. But, but I, I'm not even going, going to do that. That's just unnecessary. That... It's more melons than anybody could ever need. I have considered starting up a multiplayer Let's Play, but the thing is, is if I do that, I don't want to be hosting the server off of my computer. I'm already doing it for a few people now, but it's just a few. And I was thinking about making it more like everybody I know all at once, but I'd have to get like a real hosted server for that, or at least have like another computer set up which, my only other computer option, I, I don't really trust it beyond, you know, maybe four people, if that. It It's kind of crappy, and I need to get it back, because it's my crappy laptop. Um, what I need to do is just get a job and pay for hosting, but I've never been too... I, I've never really been too much of a fan of that, cause remotely hosted stuff, I always feel like I'm not in control of it. And yeah, I'm running around like an idiot, not doing anything particular. I haven't really done anything to the mountain. Um, I did, however, complete the track over to the mine shaft. I'll show you guys that. Check my inventory, see what I'll add. And I'm sure people are going, you know, what about the tree farm? All those leaves. What about replanting stuff? I'm not too worried about replanting it. I've actually harvested a good amount of wood in between. Uh last episode in this episode and on top of that I have so many saplings because all the previous times I was harvesting every single leaf so uh, I've pretty much stopped messing with that because uh, well I have almost two stacks of saplings I think it is look at the view from up here I actually kind of want to go just farm an entire desert and go get a ton of coal and just make this entire thing surrounded by glass. But, we'll head over here. I have no idea why. But we're heading over here. Ooh, more reeds. Sheep. Everything looks pretty cool from up here, I think. But, uh, what? Oh. Um, yeah. That's... There's not even a door here anymore. So that's not even remotely safe. But, uh... Next time I make an episode, I need to think of something I want to do on it more than just run around talking about stuff. Because I don't really have anything planned. And we're on this, uh, cart going back, wasting more of your time. You probably didn't want to see me ride a minecart, but... Um... I'm actually running out of a few ideas for the future. That's part of the reason why I wanted to switch to 1.2. What the hell's going on over there? But, uh... If you have any ideas of stuff you want me to do... Like, I had someone mention an escalator. And... It's not really all that easy to build an escalator. Although, I had, like, some serious, complex, over-piston number design that I had thought of. And that'd be a good use of cobble, just making a ton of pistons. But it's probably not really worth the effort, and I need more slime balls if I was to try and do that. Hey, boom, free arrows. Um, I do want to extend that up more. Just, I don't know, just because. Why not? Um, I do want to, I actually want to make my own texture pack, but I'm not even sure how I would do it. Because I realize I've made plenty of edits here, and I suppose I could just take the default Minecraft textures and edit those, increase the size or whatever, you know, what have you. 
but it had to be more than just a recolored version of the default. That'd be kind of lame, in my opinion. I would need to make some serious changes to things. Like, I mean, but things don't really need changed, because you look at dirt, and dirt's got, you know, little pebbles in it, like you would expect, and grass looks like grass. Well, as much as block grass can look like. I've never, ever, ever liked the cobble texture. And I really, really want to change it so it looks better. Stay in there, sheep. I do want to do something with these guys. I haven't quite figured out what yet. Um, I, I really haven't built myself in a very good area. There's not a whole lot of space. And if I want to clear this all out, it's going to take a lot of work. And I don't want to do any of that on camera. Despite the fact that I'm going to be attacked the whole time I do it. I'd be better off actually just finding somewhere else. Somewhere nice and flat, like Spawn. Spawn's actually a really good place, and I could very easily make a rail track over to it. Let me just go look at that. See how flat it actually is. I'm pretty sure it was really flat. I can already see a lot of flat. Yeah. It's not entirely flat, but it's much flatter than what I'm built on. I can easily flatten that out, and I'll be able to use the rail track. I can set one up inside their pen and just basically send carts through and pick up animals. And then I can just ship them all over there and set up some huge animal farm. Um, build a tunnel or something, I don't know. Just I, I might even just use the cobblestone and just build a gigantic wall. Who knows? I might build, you know, the Great Wall of China. I have no idea. I do know that I need to actually sit and think of some things to do. Because I keep on making things that I always make whenever I play Minecraft. And not really making anything new. Maybe I should build something out of sandstone. I mean, I can make a castle, but castles have been done to death. And so... This episode mostly is now just me running around like an idiot, brainstorming, trying to come up with things to do, running in and out of my door repeatedly. Um, I've been using that a lot, and everything I've ever heard in terms of formal stuff says never to say um and uh and stuff like that. Well, hi there, Mr. Creeper. Oh, that reminds me. Ooh, there's four of them now. Just collect some free experience. That's what I'll do. I'll make some TNT, but uh, that's not what's going on about. Another creeper just fell down. Although I'm not concerned with him at the moment. Where are you, gunpowder? Oh, there's one. Come on, I know there was another. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I, uh, well, while playing around with this, apparently I also accidentally created a unique setup where sometimes something happens that I had not originally intended with it and is now considered a bonus. Now, I'm sure smarter people, not smarter, I mean, more experienced players. That That's what I should be going with, not insulting my player base. Uh, player base? Viewer base. Um, basically, see these? Uh, they come down, you know, everything falls down, they get really low in health. There was a few times I walked up there and a skeleton tried to shoot me and hit a creeper that was in front of him. The result was, of course, uh, records, because the skeleton killed the creeper. Because in any normal situation, that would never happen. But, uh, I'm just gonna make some TNT here. Or, I'm going to make the TNT wrong. For you people that don't know how to make TNT, now you do. And... Button, button, who's got a button? I've got a button. Should take some expendable blocks with me. As you can see, I now have an actual, like, stack of wood on me, because it's just a lot more efficient, and I won't run out of wood quite as quickly. 
And this is what I got for wood, so I got a decent amount. I've actually cut through my cobble pretty well. Like, nothing major, but I've managed to cut through it pretty well. What am I doing? I only really need one block, because I'll get blocks from all the other stuff. And I'm sure somebody's complaining about me only bringing one block with me. But, too bad. Oh. I just hit my headset. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but... We are now going to extend the area in which I have to branch mine, and I'm going to do it on camera, just because... Everybody loves to see some tea and tea go off. And it'll prove to you that I made this, you know, perfect 3x3x3 three by three by three or something like that by uh, using TNT. And I, I never lost the button even once when I was doing this before. So, I mean, I'm going to lose any materials that it might hit. To be honest, I'm not too concerned about that. Oh. Ooh. Look what we just found on camera. Oh. Oh. Holy fuck. That is a big patch of diamond. And now it was found on camera. Why am I filling this back in? Because I don't want to have any really weird stuff happen. Oops. Boom. Yeah, I realize it's still damaging me, because I'm a little bit too close, but it's half a heart of damage. I'm not overly concerned about that. I am kind of surprised that I just managed to find some diamond. Whether or not I lost any by doing that remains to be, you know, found out, but I'll, I'll never know. I'll never know. Because if I did lose it, it's gone, and I'll never know. Uh, I didn't lose any iron. I wouldn't expect it would destroy, actually destroy anything outside of its blast radius. It's just the way the TNT works, which is actually kind of depressing. I wish it wouldn't just randomly hit me like that. Ah, I was safe that time. What? Oh, okay. Ah, dirt. Let me just dig this out. Collect my iron. This is actually about as much iron as I've managed to find the entire time I was branch mining. Which is actually kind of sad. But, uh, we'll dig back into this dirt and I'll just show you how badly the TNT will destroy the dirt. Eh, hey, whoa. Um, I think I might have just busted into that cave system I was in. Which is actually kind of funny. What? I don't even know where the middle of this is anymore. I'm gonna keep going. Until I'm out of TNT. I hear darkness. You heard me. I said I hear darkness. Um. Technically, you know, I don't even think that's is that lined up still. Huh? Yeah. Let me just correct this. Whoops. We're gonna keep moving forwards here. Yeah, this might be a slightly boring episode. It's just TNT mining. But it's TNT. Who doesn't love blowing things up with TNT? You know what? I'm going to do this a more interesting way. I don't entirely know if it's going to trigger like I hope. It's TNT. Might. But I feel like causing some chaos with TNT. I was going to just space these properly, but... You know what? 
Tell with proper spacing. Let's see some chaos. See? Wasn't that a lot more eventful? I appear to have blown a hole in my ravine? Uh, yeah, ravine. One that I've definitely been through, albeit I don't know how far. Well, that was... That was mighty interesting. Now, for some reason, I'm all of a sudden expecting to get ambushed by something. But that's because I'm good at getting ambushed. Great. Now there's a big gaping hole up there. Um. No. Yeah. That appears to be all I've uncovered. I'm probably not going to go any farther in that direction. Um, I may actually just end up going in a straight line like that direction or something, and then branching to specifically the right. Because of the fact that if I branch to the left as well, I'll hit every single one of these. Hey, look, melons. And, and this is why I haven't really expanded the melon farm. And haven't harvested the wheat. I now have 32 melon. And, uh, oh, I don't think I mentioned it before. Somebody maybe probably noticed, but I didn't mention it. I'm just going to go up here. You know, my lack of ideas is actually kind of depressing, and it's part of the reason why I hadn't really made a Let's Play previously back when I started before, and it's just because I, I don't have a whole lot of ideas. But I placed melons here. We now have a marker for the food box. Tell you what I will do. Take these four chests. Take out these blocks here. Um, that can't stay like that. I don't know if I have any more stone brick. Do I? Oh yeah, I do. I'm sure somebody knew that already. What? Why am I so concerned? I'm not going to be able to see that. Oh, I'm going to put that wooden bug. Wooden... <clears throat> you know what? Just let me clear my throat there for a second. Sorry about that. I'm just going to put that wooden block back. Since it lines up with the stairs. Place those there. Place those there. You can kind of see it. You know, I think you can place glowstone and still open chests. Just do that. I haven't really... I haven't gone to the nether in a very long time. If you haven't noticed, chop these out. Now, the glowstone. Okay. Yeah, it's going to look different from the others, and the others will probably eventually get expanded to match. But, um, I didn't want to just leave it open. So, but I mean, this also increases my space significantly, which cobblestone is not hard to come by. So, but I mean, it's going to be, see, now I just want to make, do that to all of them, just for the sake of matching. I, I'm not going to do that on camera. should have enough glowstone to do that if I want. Um, I see these diamonds in here. Wow, that was a vein of eight. If I want to make diamond armor, I could. But I don't want to. Oh, um, about uh, stone bricks. Uh, earlier, when I was working on the trap and putting the stone bricks down for it, I put a bunch of cobblestone in here to prepare just in case I needed extra stone bricks. I, however, did not. As you could tell, I still had some left over in that chest. But I'm going to make them anyhow. And I'll probably go find something to build out of them. But uh, until then, I'm just going to stash these, not the gunpowder, 
in here. And I'm, this is probably going to be a short episode. And I, I don't know. A lot of my episodes have been really, really long. Some people don't like that. Some people do. That's all a matter of personal opinion. Um, however, I am going to probably call this one here fairly soon. I, I just want to put everything back where it goes, get my inventory all empty, just so you... Partly so you can see what I have. This is what I have for saplings. It's just unnecessary. And I'm being called on Steam. I apologize for this. I'm not going to edit this out of the video. I am, however, going to fucking stab that person. No, not really. Don't take that seriously. Um... I let it just time out on its own. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to call this episode. I will see you guys again in episode 29.